Today, we're going to be talking about Jill DeRay. Jill DeRay was back when Joan of Arc was around. And he ruled, he fought with her. But I'm going to go back to his early life before we get to there. At a young age, he lost his parents and his grandfather raised him. And at the age of 16, he got married. And he was spending a lot of money, so a lot of people around him did not appreciate that he was selling off his properties and he just, there's a lot of people that were not probably impressed with him. So, Joan of Arc has a vision from God. And in this vision, she's seeing Michael. And back then... It was frowned upon to, well, basically, because for her, she was a girl, and she was young. She was only 16 when she fought. So, Jill DeRay ended up fighting with her fighting beside her and we all know what happened with Joan of Arc I want to tell that story one day I think it's very fascinating but we know what happened to Joan of Arc and it is said that Jill DeRay was very depressed when all this happened he just it was a lot for him and it started to be rumored that every time a young boy would be with him and I don't know what you would call the people beside him as servants. I don't really know what they was, but he had a lot of people around him. And it is said every time a kid would go to his place, they would go missing. And his, there was one incident where it is said that he beat up a boy. That I think is pretty much fact. And the people around him would do anything he wanted. They, from what I got, they were just, if they told, if he told them to jump, they would say how high. That's just basically how they were with him. So, all these boys are going missing. And the police catch on. But... Interesting enough, they never found any bodies. But they take him, they take his servants, and they beat them basically into confession, telling them that if they don't come out and tell the truth, that things are going to be way worse. So he writes a confession. And he, he wanted a Christian burial. He was Catholic, and back then, if you were known to do things like that, you would not have a Christian burial, but he did. He was burnt. He was given a Christian burial, and that's, that's not normally what they did back then, so it makes me think that 
a lot of things were just pinned on him because a lot of people didn't like that he was selling properties and stuff. And just, I think that's what happened. I He may have done some of it. I don't think he did everything they said he did. But that is the story of Jill DeRay. Thank you guys for watching.